Yo, what up world? So today I want to show you guys a cool new little product uh, called Glove Lock. And what it is is there are these four little plastic slash mechanical springy, um, uh, I guess circular things that you put on your thumb and pinky loops. And what it is is, um, you can kind of see it, I put, uh, yeah. put it on my other glove here. Is that you put it on the thumb and pinky loops. And essentially what it is is, it's a customized fit for yourself and you don't have to do the square knot anymore like how it's like on here. And so what you can do is if you um, really like it tight or if you like it really loose but you don't wanna keep having to do the square knot or if you don't know how to do the square knot, this kinda just makes things a little bit easier. So what it is is there's a little clasp that you press down on and it releases the spring and now you can really move the glove lock up and down on the lace and essentially you can keep it that lock that length if you want and now you can loosen it up in the glove and then if, however you like it if you like it looser or tighter you know again like in between innings you know if you if you like to loosen it up because then you can't get your fingers out or if you like to keep it tight so that when your fingers don't come out and just keep the glove a little more secure then you know you just press the glove locks and make them tighter. It's a little difficult with the one hand, but I mean, I think if the more you get used to it, um, you know, the easier it gets for you to just do it freely. But otherwise, yeah, again, the easiest way is just kind of press them down towards where you want it. And so for me right now, loosen that up. I like going two in the pink on this glove, so I like to keep the, uh, the pinky hole, um, or the pinky loops a little bit looser, so that way it fits both my uh, my pinky finger and my ring finger in the uh, pinky stall. So, and then for this side, I just like to keep it as tight as possible, so then that way my thumb doesn't get loosened out of there, so that way my palm is a little bit exposed, like it's supposed to uh, when you're fielding. So again, this is a 12 and 3 quarter inch uh, 44 Pro Glove, and I use it mainly for softball. Um, so I have another outfield glove that I use for baseball that I gain for that. But essentially, that's what I do for this. And I just wanted to show you guys again. So this is, these are navy, and then the other two ones that I have are black and red. And so I just wanted to put the black ones onto my catcher's mitt. So for example, see my catcher's mitts, I, I know how to do the square knot, so I just, I always redo the square knot. But as you can kind of see on this side, it's getting a little loose. Um, you know, I don't want to uh, keep messing around with it and having to redo the, the square knot every single time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on the glove locks and just show you guys real quick again. Pretty simple and pretty easy um, to do. Again, just open up the square knot, or if most cases, most people already have them already undone because they don't know how to redo the square knot. Um, so I'll just undo them here. Open up the black one, which there's the little slot in the bottom here. Out. Come in. So again, you just take, take one of them, press the clasp down, go here, feed it right through, take the other side, push it all the way down, or again, however your preference is, and pretty simple and easy. So again, I would definitely recommend this um, more towards the uh, the younger kids, just because if they don't know how to redo the square knot. Um, but again, it's it's all preference. Uh, you know, there's high schoolers that probably that could use this, because even a lot of the high school kids that I coach, they don't know how to do the square knot yet. But of course, it's always easy to teach. But just as far as if you're somebody, especially catchers, I know for sure, you can see a lot of them have. Um, the uh, thumb and pinky uh, loops pretty loose or uh, undone because they don't want the square knot just because they want to make sure that it is uh, loose whatnot for whatever reason. Um, 
then it just makes it easier for you to just do that instead of having to redo the square knot every single time. So definitely recommend this because it does not come undone. Um, you know, again, I've been I've been gaming this with the glove lock actually for over a year now, and I haven't had a single problem with it. So it doesn't get in the way of anything and just keeps you know everything nice and tight as far as the loops. And if it doesn't. And it just loosens up a little bit and just push them back you know just make sure that they are tight and you're good to go so again it works for any glove it's main it's specifically for the, the thumb and pinky loops um, to put on there and yeah just makes life a little easier instead of having to do the square knot every single time so, uh, definitely again check it out again it's called glove locks and you can they come in all sorts of different colors there's they have from just the basic you know uh, you know, black, red, green, blue, to neon green, you know, neon pink, um, whatever color you, you can imagine, they pretty much have it. Um, so yeah, check it out, go get them, if you're serious about your game, and I, if you guys want to check out any of the other baseball videos I have, I'm going to be doing another relacing video for this catcher's mitt. That is on that uh, my player popped a lace, so I just I'm gonna do a video on how to relace it uh, with the X lace, and then if you want to check out my other video on how to do the vertical laces, I have that up as well. So go ahead and check those out, and if you guys have any questions or any recommendations for any other videos, then comment and subscribe. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, peace.